Okay, Treehouse Electric. So today's jobs are just situating the consumer unit. So I just had this on the wall. So I've got the boards cut out there and I had it there. So the consumer unit will be like that and it will be eventually hidden in a cupboard. So the problem that I'm having today or what I'm doing today is we need to find out where the switch wires will go for the lighting switches. So there's going to be a switch here and then the wire needs to come up needs to go through this so you need to put a hole in that the wire will come along so this is basically how you would route it inside a house so it comes through there and then we uh well i actually originally wanted to come down and then into the fuse board this way but there is the large piece of bracing here so i can't get through so what i'm going to have to do is make a hole just in the rafter bring the wire through here bring it through this piece of bracing and then into the fuse box this way so very sort of complicated way of doing it but it has to be neat so what we've got, we've got the power supply coming in. So that needs to be fed up there to the fuse board. So I'm just making sure that all of the routes are clear. Then I can put this board back on. Then I can reattach the consumer unit down there. And then we can start to wire this up. So we can have sockets behind here. So we've got a socket behind there, two of them. And then we have our frost protection heater, which will be hidden. And then we come around here, we can have a permanent power supply to this heater here. So this is a really nice, sort of fake log wood burner here. It does have a big fan heater in it as well, but I can't switch it on at the moment because we are still running off a spooled up uh, extension lead, which would melt if I did that. But eventually it's gonna be on one of these uh, permanent spurs and we can use that. And then if we move around here, we're gonna put another socket behind here to run the special effects. So we're gonna have a smoke machine hidden down here and it's gonna be venting up through the roof. So when you approach this tree house, it's going to look like that wood burner is real and you're going to have real smoke coming out of the ceiling there. So we've got other, other sockets behind here too. So this is the electrical installation, most of it down there. We have the um, consumer unit boxes, we've got the outside lights, breakers, Christmas tree lights. So why we need Christmas tree lights is I'm going to do a starlight roof. So if we look up here, I'm going to board the ceiling and then cover the boards with stretchy black automotive carpet. Then I'm going to put in several hundred holes and we're going to have the Christmas tree lights poking through that. So when you come into this tree house, it looks like you're looking up at the night sky. And then we're actually going to incorporate that so that it is uh, on the wall there. So nothing's going to be, um, you know, difficult to use. It will all be off the switches. So we come back down here again. We have all of the inside lights and uh, we've got the um, heater, the frost protection heater, all of the wire, all of the 6242Y connections, terminals, all sorts of stuff there. So... That's what we're doing today. We're going to be planning out the routes for all these cables and getting some of this into the treehouse. 